What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back to part number two of our are you? I was about, I don't know what I was about to say. I was about to say something that wasn't are you. Uh, but welcome back to part number two of our are you live Pokemon showdown session. On the last episode, we really didn't get anything done. We couldn't even get a full match. I tried twice. Both people forfeited uh, with like less than 15 turns into the match. So that was a bit unfortunate. Hopefully we can run into some uh, better opponents today. If you guys uh, are enjoying the video or if you'd like to uh, show some support to the channel and the series and all that good stuff, just a friendly reminder uh, that when you do thumbs up the video, it does really help out a lot. And it, you know, when you leave a comment, it does too. Feel free to leave your thoughts. You know, let me know if you're enjoying things, uh, if you're having a good time, if you're enjoying the content on the channel. If you think I stink, Worse than something that really would stink. I don't know, a, a skunk's rear end? Let's not talk about that. Let's play Pokemon. Here we go. Ambipom. Uh, Gastrodon. Uh, yeah, I'm going from side to side here. Delphox, Jellicent. Pringles is here. Amoongus. And Glade. So, uh, Delphox is a problem. Delphox, it's scary. It is really scary. Everybody seems to like Ambipom in this tier, too. It's really not that great of a Pokemon, but people love it. Uh, it's very, very common. Gastrodon is a little bit of an issue, too, so we need to make sure that we save uh, Rotom for that. So let's see. I'm going to say this is going to lead off, so I'm going to lead off with uh, Turnip here. Oh, Jellicent's going to lead off, actually. Okay, I was not expecting that. Now, he could have Aromatherapy on this. Wait, does Amoongus get Aromatherapy? I'm not really sure. I don't think I've ever seen one carry it, now that I think about it. Um... Was not expecting that. Normally, Ambipom is the lead. I'm just going to Toxic here. Get some damage, uh, residual damage going. There's the Willow, which is fine. Um, you know, I, I, would, I will trade that gladly because Jellicent uh, is a little bit of an issue. Now, what are you going to go for? Uh, Scald, maybe? Possibly? Maybe, possibly a Scald here? I think we are pretty safe to switch in uh, Rotom. Although a Shadow Ball will probably hurt. So let's see. Let's see. Now we can go into Kimba here because we have the Aromatherapy to get rid of that burn. Yeah, there's the Scald. Are you going to get a burn? You are going to get a burn. All right, so we definitely have to go for the Aromatherapy here. No questions about it. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just go for that. We may see a switch here because it's not necessarily a favorable matchup. Uh, he will definitely switch after the Aromatherapy. Oh, never mind. The Amoongus is going to come out because that is a, a, a good advantage for him there. Now, I don't really have uh, fodder for sleep per se, but I do have Rotom. The problem is, if he predicts the switch into Rotom, it just goes straight for a Sludge Bomb, or if he just wants to go for a Sludge Bomb because this is here, um, that could be not fun. So I'm gonna go for a nice little Protect here because I'm not afraid of this thing. Uh, he is just gonna go straight for the Sludge Bomb, so we'll get a little bit more Lefties recovery, which is fine. And now, uh, is he going to go for another Sludge Bomb? Because then we can switch in Cindy and then taunt it, and it'll be a good time. We can get up a free SD on something. Uh, unfortunately, we don't outspeed this Delphox, though, so that could be a bit of a problem. Let's see here. Let's see here. Unfortunately, I can't Toxic this thing. This thing is an issue. My team doesn't really have an answer for it. I don't have a Fire type. Um... We're going to go into Cindy. If he goes for Spore, so be it. Yeah, now he goes for the Spore. That is just not fun. Are you going to switch? Or are you just going to go for another Sludge Bomb? I'm not really afraid of you. You don't really have much that you can hit me with, to be fair. So let's just go for a Taunt and see what happens. We're not going to wake up this turn, obviously. Amoongus is such a problem. Amoongus is another one of those Pokemon. It's like on every other team. It's it's just like, I don't know. It's people's favorite thing to bring. I mean, I don't know what I would prefer. Amoongus or Alamomolo? Or even worse, when people have both on the same team. In comes the Glade. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I want to bring in on that? Do I want to get an Intimidate off? He's not going to go for a Psyche-type move with Drapion here. That much is certain, but if he has like Swords Dance or something, that could be a really big problem. Uh, or if he's like Assault Vest with Power Up Punch, that could be something to go for here. I could scare him out with Aromatisse. He's probably going to go for a Fighting type move, I had to guess. Hmm. 
Let's go straight into the Aromatisse. Let, let, let's just go for it. Uh, no, he goes for the Ice Punch, and he gets a crit. Oh my goodness, that could be a problem, because I think now he can finish us off with a Psychic-type... Or, yeah, if he has, like, Psycho Cut or something. Uh, or Zen Headbutt. I'm gonna protect to get some of my HP back. That is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Ice Punch predicting what, exactly? Uh, he goes with a close combat, so he doesn't have a psychic type move, or he's just making crazy predictions right now. Uh, do I go for the Moon Blast, or do I go straight up for a Wish? I think I'm going to Wish here. He, yeah, he's just going to continually spam the close combat. So we're going to be able to get a decent amount of our HP back here. Uh, the Protect should be obvious, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I would definitely switch out here. No, he's going to stay in, and he's going to go for Ice Punch. Okay, what? I I'm not sure what is going on here, if he's just clicking random moves or what. Uh, we can throw up another Wish and then Moon Blast right after. Or we can just Moon Blast and kill this thing, and I think I want to do that. Yeah, there's the Ice Punch that does 31%. Thank wow, that's not even a... Wow, 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 okay. I wonder if that is Assault Vest. Have we seen any other moves? No, could be Assault Vest. Is that minus one special vets? To be fair, Glade does have really good uh, natural special bulk. I'm going to throw up a wish here again. Now he's going to switch out into the Amoongus. And that means that we're going to get off some uh, nice wish recovery onto something. Do I want to go for an aromatherapy? And No, because he can't put anything else to sleep. So that's nice. Let's go for a protect. He's probably just going to go for Sludge Bomb. There's really no reason for him not to. Really no reason whatsoever. Uh, he just goes for the Giga Drain. Okay, so we've seen Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Spore on this thing. Do I throw up another Wish and go into Cindy? That... Hmm. That has potential. It really does. I would really like to get Rocks up, too. Just for this Delphox, because... Delphox is a problem. My team does not like Delphox whatsoever. It really, really does not. Uh, no. I'm just gonna go right into Cindy here. I'm not even gonna bother with a wish. Goes with a spore? Sleep Claws is a thing. Do you not understand that? I'm confused. I'm definitely confused. I go for a taunt. If he wants to stay in, uh, that way, you know, we make sure that we're not going to get put to sleep again. Then, if... He stays in and he gets taunted then we can set up an SD because we'll be in good shape and it'll just it'll just be a good time we'll see we'll see because this is only the second sleep term term did I just put an M at the end of that word I think I did not sure why I did but I did I do a lot of curious things I'm sure you you figured that out by now if you've been on the channel for more than two seconds you know he's taking his time thinking about this move here Trying to think what else he could do. Uh, Jellicent is not something you want to switch in. Neither is Delphox. I guess the Gastrodon could come in. I guess. But you're going to take a lot of damage. I mean, you have the Recover, so there's that. Uh, Gallade really doesn't want to switch in. Ambipom can't really do a whole lot to me. So, yeah, this... Uh, Cindy is a problem for his team. Out comes the Gallade here. And we taunt it. Okay, I, sh I guess I should have went for the knockoff. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We should outspeed this, right? Because he's base 80. Yeah, we outspeed it, so we're fine. Because I have enough I have enough speed investment, as I said in the first part, to outspeed uh, max speed, positive natured Rotom. And, you know, Rotom Mo has base 86, Glade has base 80, and we've already seen because it went for, you know, ice punches and close combat and stuff, so we're, we're fine here. We can just go for a poison jab. I don't think you're going to switch out. Uh, so we'll just, yeah, we'll just go for the poison jab, and that is a dead Gallade, so that's fantastic. Unfortunately, we, sh we did show off the taunt. So, that may mean, I don't know. I don't know what that means. That just means that my opponent knows that I have it now. Maybe the Ambipom's gonna come out, maybe the Gastrodon. I would say the Gastrodon is probably your best bet, because you're probably packing the Earth Power, if I had to guess. No, the Ambipom's gonna come out, okay. Alrighty, then. Uh, let's see here. We do not outspeed you, and you're going to go for Fake Out. So I'm going to go into Turnip here, get a nice little Intimidate off, 
and it'll just be a good time. Yeah, there's the fake out. Everybody does the exact same thing with Ambipom. To be fair, I like to run that set too. But people will go for fake out regardless of whether you have a switch in or not. It just seems to be what people like to do. Now, the Amoongus might come back in here. To be fair, you've only seen me have Toxic, though. You've seen the Intimidate as well, so you have to know I'm defensive. Um, I would really like to go into Spike here and try to get up some rocks. I really, really would. We know this thing isn't Sash now because we've seen the Life Orb, so that's cool. I don't think he's going to stay in. So I, as much as I would love to click Mock Punch, I don't think that is a reasonable thing to do. We could just go into Cindy here, predicting the Amoongus to come back out. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's let's give it a go. Let's let's go into... Oh, no, the Jellicent's going to come out. That's even better. Because you can't do uh, anything to me other than Scald, and I think that a knockoff might just kill you, to be perfectly honest. Do we risk it and go for the Swords Dance, or go for the Taunt and then SD? I don't know if that's a good idea, because I will get burned with a Skull. The hacks will destroy my life. I think our best play here is to just go for a knockoff. He's going to switch out into the Amoongus. Okay, that is not something you want to switch in. We get rid of the Chesto Berry, so this was Rest of Chesto Amoongus with Regenerator? That is interesting, unless your effect Spore. If that activates, I will be very angry. I'm going to taunt you. You're not uh, going to use Spore on me. It's just not happening. Not interested in that. Not interested. Now he goes for the Giga Drain because that makes sense on, you know, going for that on a Drapion, obviously. Now, uh, go for an SD, and then we will Poison Jab something. There's the Sludge Bomb, only doing 23%. Um, do I go for another SD? I don't know. How much did that knockoff do? It did 35%. So this poison jab is not going to kill, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, let's go for it. Let's try to try to get some damage off on this thing. It's almost a kill. There's the sludge bomb. I don't like that. Now we can just go for a knockoff. That'll definitely kill. If you want to switch out and get your regenerator off, I will get a knockoff on off on something. And I'm pretty sure Gastrodon will be too KO'd by that. Delphox and Jellicent will get one shotted. Uh, Ambipom will get one shot. You really don't have a switch in to be fair here, so you have to sack something. And uh, that means we get some more Black Sludge recovery as well. Really shocked that you let me just stay in here. Oh, the Gastron's going to come in. And that does 82%. Cindy is on fire right now. Oh my goodness, that did so much. Uh, we can just go for a knockoff again, even though we're not going to get the boost. That should still be a KO. And it is, so Gastronaut, another huge problem, out of the way. I'm guessing that was one of his special walls. I really don't know what he, maybe it was offensive, because he's got a lot of special walls. Maybe it was physically defensive. I don't really know. But the Delphox comes in here. This does outspeed us. So this is an issue. I don't think I want to leave Cindy in for this. Um, just because we outspeed and one-shot this Jellicent. And we can take care of the Amoongus because we can taunt it and all that jazz. So I think I want to switch in uh, Kimba here. I kind of do. Kind of, kind of do. I could switch in Spike, but I'm pretty sure a Psy Shock after a Fire Blast or whatever is going to be coming our way is going to kill us off. Now, do we really need Turnip? The only thing we could really use it for is the Ambipom. Mm, the Mach Punch could be useful for that, though. So let's see. I might actually want to just sacrifice Spike at this point. It's not looking like he's going to be that useful. So you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sacrifice Spike. It's looking like the least useful member of the team. There's the Flamethrower. It only does 22%. That is interesting. Now, getting up rocks, I don't know if that's really going to help us a whole lot. So maybe just going for a Dragon Tail? Maybe? Maybe that I'm surprised at how little that did. Spike just taking, I don't know, taking hits left and right. Delbox is so, so powerful. Now, this is where having Dragon Claw would come in handy. Because Dragon Tail's not going to do that much. I don't want to Dragon Tail you into a Moongus. In case you want to switch out, you know what? I'm going to set up rocks. Late game rocks. And he does switch out into the Jellicent. All right, fair enough. And we're going to see that toxic damage start to rack up. The Delphox is going to have to take a nice 25% when it comes back in. 
I'm wondering if that is Choice Scarf, because he's gonna he switches it out instead of going for Psy Shock or Psychic, which would do a butt ton of damage. So that is curious. Definitely, definitely, definitely curious. Like I said, we don't need this at all, so I'm just gonna Dragon Tail until I die here. There's the will o -Wisp. that's fine by me. We still do a nice 15%. In comes the Amoongus, and that's not Regenerator, ladies and gents. It's not Regenerator, you are Effect Spore, that is nonsense. Uh, you can't Spore us, you can go for a Sludge Bomb. I'm just gonna go for a Fire Punch here. And we outspeed. How often do you see Drudagon outspeeding anything? I have zero speed investment, too. Or maybe four? Do I have four? Something like that. I don't know. It's really low. Out comes the Del Fox. Takes a nice uh, 25%. We can go for a Dragon Tail. Just go to the Flamethrower again. Maybe predicting a switch. I'm not really sure. We deal another 24% due to the Dragon Tail. And it's going to take another 25% when it comes back in. So that, that uh, Del Fox is going to be very much so weakened to the point where as long as it's not Scarf, we can come in with Rotom and finish it off. So that's cool. And we still have our Focus Ash and Attack with Doug here, so, you know, there's that. Uh, and Doug outspeeds, too, so that is cool beans. I, again, I'm going to go for the Dragon Tail. It goes for the knockoff instead of the Fake Out there, and it takes all kinds of damage due to the Rough Skin and the Rocky Helmet and the Life Orb. Just insanity, really. Now, we can go into Turn up here to Mach Punch. That is something that we can definitely do. But I think the most pressure that we could inflict on the team would be actually to go into Rotom here. Because he has no switch-ins to it. We can just go for a Volt Switch and see what he wants to do, basically. Because Jellicent, he would basically be sacking it with, you know, Rocks and Toxic. I don't think it's going to live the turn. Um... We could just go for T-Bolt, actually. We can do whatever we want, basically. We're in a really good position here. Happy with how this team is performing. Uh, Spike, unfortunately, seems to be fodder more times than anything else, just getting up rocks and foddering it, but uh, it does its job fairly well. It deals a nice amount of residual... Not residual. It's not residual damage. It's passive damage. Ah. Do I want to go for the Vault Switch or the T-Ball? That's really the only question here. That really, really is. Basically, anything that comes in just dies. And I think I just want to go for a Volt Switch. And it gets a crit to take out the Ambi Bomb. That obviously did not matter whatsoever. Now that that has happened, though, we can get uh, rid of whatchamacallit here, Turnip. Did he leave? He did leave. Okay. So he didn't want to forfeit, so we will just claim our victory. We actually had a full battle this time, ladies and gents. 31 full turns. It would have been uh, at least two or three more before we actually got the victory. I don't know why you didn't just actually forfeit the match instead of just leaving, but oh well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, make sure you're leaving a like rating and a comment, all that good stuff, all that stuff that you guys usually do that makes you so amazing and uh, showing all your support really does mean a lot to me. You guys are just fantastic with that. I don't say it enough just because... Uh, I don't know. I guess I don't want to sound like a broken record. I feel like I repeat myself a lot, so I try to like you know, cut back on it at least a little bit, but I do really appreciate you guys. Um, all the support really is humbling. It's just fantastic. So that is it for this time, and I will see you all for part number three. But until then, game on.